I'm encouraged to know how courageous they are because we were courageous at one point. We were courageous or we would never have built this. This yeah. came out of courage. This came out of love and vision. This didn't come out of money and it didn't come out of power. It came out of the same thing that those young people are. They want a dream. They want a dream and they want to be able to feel they're in, a, in the greatest society ever that will not only allow it, but promote it. I was thinking about, as a choreographer, what kind of dance I see going on right now. And um, it's really, it's really phenomenal. It's, it's really, it's radical. And um, sometimes when you want change, and many times in our history when you look for change, you have to have radical things go on because people get very numb, they don't listen, they, they, they think they care, they think they hear. But when something radical happens, it's sort of like a gestalt moment. Everybody sees it at the same time. And therefore, everyone tries to problem solve. And then we have to hear all the different ways of problem solving. And I think we're in a very interesting time. Uh, I think it's a very painful time. Uh, very, very painful. And it brings up a lot of pain that we've already had that we haven't healed from. So I think that's some of the concern that I have that and some of the things that have not been put into place that we thought maybe were in place through the civil rights movement that, um, but I think it just reminds us of how powerful that was, the civil rights movement and how we have to go back to some of those things that really did work for our society, that really did work. And marching and protesting works. Rallying works. Rioting doesn't work. Um, somebody's gonna get hurt, and lots of people get hurt, and lots of people get angry. Um, but a lot of times, um, people don't feel that they own that community. And so, when there is destruction, you have to say, why would you ruin your own community but if they don't feel they own it and they have no ownership, then we have to look at it in a different way as well. So I think um, there, I've always protested I, the, from, from day one in my company. It's a protest. I, I always say when I arrive in other countries or other places, I go, I got a posse, I got a gang. And they go, you do? And I go, yeah, they're all dancers, they're all artists. But we come in with an intention. We come in to bring beauty. I mean, that's our intention. And we come in to unify people. And we come in together, not alone. We come in as a group. And we come in to make change. And we come in to have an, a, a powerful experience that uplifts us. And so I think marching uplifts people. I think it's, it's uplifting them. They're, they're seeing each other. They're here. They're applauding each other. They don't even know who they are. And they're just giving each other this ashe. This, there were teachers that were speaking last night, and I saw. And also, you're looking. You're going, okay. Do we have people who are, who are black? Do we have people who are white? Do we have young people. Do we? Have, they're looking. We're looking at ourselves, which we need to do. We need to do that. We we look at other countries, and we can do that and make a judgment. But right now, we have to do self knowledge. We have to look at ourselves and see how the world is looking at us. And know that we inspire the world. We really inspire the world, and we inspire the world even more now because we can see the world like that. <laughs> when we marched, who knows when they would see what we were doing or if they ever saw it. Um, so we come out of the, the civil rights movement, but even my father and mother um, being on the other corner, Five Points, that was segregated, and if they did not protest that a white woman could marry a black man, that maybe even today we would not see couples that love each other because of their character or their heart and not the color of their skin, that might not have ever happened. So protests I come from. <laughs> As a nation, we find ourselves in a Sankofa moment, like the, the Sankofa bird flying forward but looking back to know where we've come from. Realizing we must confront our past of 400 years of racism, injustice, and inequity. Recognizing that while strides have been made through peaceful protest, we have many more miles to go. 
We need an open, vital conversation and honest dialogue and exchange without fear of, of reprisal. We must be able to have our voices heard, especially when systems in place no longer serve everyone. In this struggle, the tool of the artist is creativity. I want to say that again, the tool of the artist is creativity. I believe we are stronger than this polarization that I see and that we are capable of moving forward and evolving into our moral consciousness together. Let's move together and together we rise. Thank you.